what's up y'all so today we're gonna do a cute makeup look and yeah i already like kind of swatched my color palette of what look i'm gonna do today so i'm gonna let y'all look like these are the colors so it's a little purple orange and like this little golden yellow so yeah my eyebrows are already done so yeah let's get straight into it i feel like it's been a minute since i talked to y'all this is the first time i'm actually I can hear my voice like I'm actually talking. Mm. I have to go in with this purple. Y'all, this purple is just. It's so bomb. Like, when I swatched this, I was like, yup, that's it right there. Because, baby, this is going to be a. Uh, it's going to be a look when I get done. Do you hear me? I've already um, put concealer on. Uh, my favorite concealer so far. I'll go in with this e.l.f. concealer and this is in the shade Deep Cinnamon. I love this stuff. Sometimes this is the only thing that I put on because I don't want to do a full face of makeup. So, get you some concealer. Yes. And the palette that I'm doing, just a regular little um, drugstore palette. The next color, the next color I'm going to go in and do is the orange y'all it's been a minute since i did content like this i feel like it takes me so long to do my makeup which is why i never um do a whole lot of makeup content y'all filming can be very stressful <laughs> but i figure you know it's a new year i haven't did it in a minute and i wanted to come back and give y'all something different something new so yeah um Plus, I just feel like doing makeup is very therapeutic for me. And I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. For this to be the first video, me coming back. I figure why not, you know? Just go for it. So, yeah. I'm um, going to finish blending this out and I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the gold right in the inner corner i'm sorry i can't see i'm kind of looking in a mirror up here and here i'm at my vanity so excuse me if i look off for a little bit like this left eye yeah it's giving it's, it's giving what it's supposed to get like i'm gonna go back and fix that one but i just want y'all to see all right y'all so i fixed both eyes off camera just to kind of make sure I blended it the way that I wanted it. So now I'm going in and doing my eyeliner right now. And again, can't go wrong with a little elf, baby. Periods. And this is um, just in jet black. And yeah, I'm just going over. I don't know if I want to do a wing. Something tells me I want to do a wing. I haven't did a wing in so long, y'all. And it's kind of hard for me to do wings. I don't know. Let me know if y'all also have issues with doing wing eyeliner. Because it frustrates me. Like, if I feel like it doesn't come out right, mm -mm, redo. And then it just messes up my entire eye makeup. So, I don't know. It's giving wing, but it's giving very much. I don't want to struggle with it. So, mm, I don't know. Alright y'all, so I decided I wasn't going to even worry about doing no um, wing up eyeliner today. Because I don't want to struggle. I, catch me on another episode of when I'm doing my makeup because it's not giving today. But yeah, I'm about to do my lashes. And y'all, I've been feeling the like feline eyelashes lately. So yeah, I have my little lashes up here and my little shell. But yeah, these are the lashes um, that I use. Love them. Yes. I don't know what brand, but got them from my local beauty supply store. So, yeah. Another thing, y'all. <laughs> Call it ratchet, but I promise you it helps. Um, I get a little brush. And this is just a brush from an eyebrow kit that I don't even use. So, of course, I had to take my top off of my eyelash glue because it, it's just mm -mm, struggling. So, what I like to do is get, like, whatever glue amount. Because I like to be precise when I do my lashes. 
and I just brush it across um, instead of squeezing the bottle. Okay, y'all, so the way I put on my eyelashes, I learned this technique from another influencer, Aaliyah J. I watch her videos all the time, so definitely took some tips from her from what I've watched. What she said was, you want to get you a mirror, whatever mirror doesn't matter, and what I like to do is look down, like straight down, so you can see your actual lashes and where your eye line is. So basically, just look down and you just place it right above your lashes. And that way, you won't struggle where it's just moving all around. That's my little eyelash tip, y'all, that I learned. And when I tell y'all, my eyelash ain't all the way over here, up there, everywhere. Definitely helps to make sure that it's on there straight. So, y'all, look at that. Bomb. Mm-hmm. It's giving, right? Straight, precise, period. I'm going to do the other one off camera. Alright y'all, so I already did the other eyelash off camera. And I'm going to go in with my foundation. Y'all know the Fit Me foundation is what we're going for today. So, oops. Got a little bit too much, but it's cool. You can work with that. Y'all, I put too much, but it's cool. Make it do what it do. With my beauty blender, and I'm just going to blend this out. Alright, so I'm going back in with that e.l.f. concealer. And if I didn't tell y'all, my foundation uh, shade was in the color 355 in um, coconut. So, 355 in coconut is the foundation shade that I was using in the Fit Me foundation. And I'm just going back in with my concealer concealer places that I feel like I normally conceal um, now we're going in and we're going to do one of my favorite parts which is we're going to bake okay so setting powder wise I have I was using this Laura Mercier setting powder um got this from Sephora um they gave me a little sample size for my birthday like years ago but I've recently used all of that. So, um, I've kind of combined my own setting powders besides using the Fenty Beauty setting powder. Um, I kind of just kept this container for it. But yeah, I've been mixing this Bad Habit um, loose setting powder. This is, I guess, in the color number 8. That's what it says. Um, so, I mixed that with this banana powder this is by color central definitely this is what it's giving I love it very natural um, and I'm going to go in with my little brushy brush here I like to use a brush to um, set my makeup Alright y'all, so I already did my setting powder and I'm just letting it sit underneath my eye for now. And I'm going to go in and do my eyeliner underneath. And this is just a regular black eyeliner. Um, this is by NK Makeup. So I got this from the beauty supply store. So the same colors that are up here, the purple, the orange, the yellow, I'm going to put them underneath. And I'm going to have to do that off camera because that's going to take a very long time. And I want to make sure that I do it precise and perfect. So I'm going to get back with you guys once I do that off camera. Alright y'all, so I did the eyeliner and I did my eyeshadow underneath. Um, and y'all, I love it. Like, I don't know if y'all can see it because... It's crazy. I have my little lights right here. But I promise y'all I'm going to give y'all an up close finish look. 
um, when I get done. So I'm going to go with my blush. And I love a good, like, liquid blush or um, a cream blush versus powder. I don't know. I just feel like when you do a cream blush, um, it's just, I don't know, it's smooth. And I love it. Like I said, I, I never do blush, but today we are. And I like to put a little bit on my nose. I know that's crazy, but I don't know. I just feel like it adds some more color to my face. And um, yeah, I love it. So taking my beauty blender with, even though we still probably got some product, I love that because it's going to help blend more. So I love that. Same thing over here. Um, and I'll just bring it up. Here we go. Last but not least, the lips. I mean, the lips. Um, I already got lip gloss on, so we're gonna have to wipe that off. But yeah, my lip liner that I use, y'all. I'm almost out. So I don't even know what color this is, but um, this is the lip liner that I've been using, and it's like a dark brown. I love this lip liner. Um, and you can't go wrong with a brown lip liner because I feel like that's an everyday type of color that you can use and wear all year round. No matter what. So, yes. Um, but I love this lip liner. And yeah, I'm gonna go get my lip gloss next to show you guys. I'm 10 years later, y'all. Took me forever to figure out what lip combo I wanted to do, but I've been swatching. So it's matte lipstick. It's very dark, okay. But the thing is, I kind of feel like whatever brand this is, Beauty now and next. I kind of feel like they kind of play me because it's not giving matte. It's very glossy. It's not giving matte lipstick to me. That's just my opinion. But I love the color. Um, so yeah, we're going to go in and do this. Because what I'm trying to do or create is like a plum color. I feel like it would look really cute with this. So I'm I'm going to create it some kind of way. See how glossy it is? It doesn't really give me matte. But it is what it is. And then I'm going to go in with this Ulta um, Beauty High Shine Lip Gloss. Have this color. It's like a light lavender pink. And I kind of want to just put that directly in the middle. So now we have like a combo that kind of complements that purple. A um, majority of the time, your girl is going to do a lip liner and some gloss and call it a day, girl. Because you can't go wrong with that. And like I said, I don't really wear a whole lot of lip sticks and stuff. Because, y'all, I be wearing a mask. Like, majority of the time, my makeup, you're not going to see from here on down. So I don't be studying it that much. But yeah, um, let me know in the comments some good like lip brands, lip product brands that I could use or like, I don't know. Let me know because your girl is trying to get back into, you know, just testing new products. Um, so I'm very interested in that. Yeah, um, highlighter. Y'all know your girl got to do a highlighter. Um, so yeah my go-to highlighter and before I do my highlighter I always take a spray and this is really um face mist yeah in the meantime I just take this period and as that since I like to go in with my beauty blender and kind of you know just dab it in there Make sure it's really set in the 
the face because we want to make sure our product is looking good, right? So, I'm going to go in. I don't even remember. Okay, this is my Beauty Treats as well. And this is the highlighter. So, going in on the brows. One thing about me, I love a good highlighter. Like, sis, I feel like highlighter just, it completes it. It like, it gives, okay? So, this is the completed look, y'all. I'm going to go get dressed. And yeah, I will show y'all the finished full beats.